Next up is this line here, verify the boot mode. But uh, in essence, you can skip this one. Why? Because we go to uh, Arch Linux D, to phase five, the Arch way to install Arch Linux. And this image here, when we boot it up, we already saw Arch Linux, Arch ISO, UEFI USB. So it knew already that it had to load the, the specific bootloader here for EFI. So, okay, well, we'll just confirm that that's uh, in order and that's um, what we're gonna do in this tutorial. So you can skip this, but we'll do this just for fun. So, if UFI is enabled on an UFI motherboard, then Arch ISO will boot Arch Linux according to systemd boot. They say, take a list of, and I have now my Azerti, I'm so happy. So, sys firmware goes a bit faster now, and then if he varts. There you go. So, if, if this is empty, well, then it's not good. So if the directory does not exist, the system may be booted in BIOS or CSM mode. That's what I'm saying on the Arch Wiki. So that's it. That's all. We have it and we have confirmation that we've booted in EFI. Stopping the tutorial here.